Hello students! Welcome to a new ICT video lesson on computer operations and fundamentals. Today we're going to learn about the four main types of computers. This video lesson will cover how computers are classified into types, the main types of computers, followed by a quick test and a recap. How are computers classified? Computers are classified into types according to their size and their computing power, that is, the speed at which they process data. The main types of computers are microcomputers, mini computers, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. A microcomputer is also known as a personal computer. It is a single user system, that is, only one person can use it at a time. It is small in size and is available at a low cost. Now let us see some examples of microcomputers. First example, the desktop computer. It is used at a single location on a desk due to its size and power requirements. You can see it at home, at school and in offices. Another example of microcomputers is the laptop computer. It is a small and portable personal computer. It is also called a notebook computer. It can be used anywhere as it has a rechargeable battery and therefore does not need to be connected to a power supply all the time. A third example of microcomputers is the smartphone. It is a handheld personal computer with a mobile operating system. It can be used to make and receive calls, send and receive messages, surf the internet, and to access social networking websites. The tablet PC is another example of microcomputers. It is also called tablet. It is a wireless portable personal computer with a touchscreen interface. It has a rechargeable battery in a single thin flat package. It resembles a smartphone but is relatively larger in size. More examples of microcomputers include the palm top computer and the personal digital assistant. As their name suggests, a palm top computer is a small computer that fits the palm of your hand and the personal digital assistant is a handheld organizer that is used mostly by businessmen to store contact information, appointments and files. After seeing various types of microcomputers, let us now move on to another type of computer, the mini computer. A mini computer is bigger and more powerful than a microcomputer. It is also called a mid-range or server computer used in computer networks. The mini computer is a multi-user system. That is, it can support several users at the same time. It is used by small businesses such as banks and insurance companies. Its cost is relatively higher than microcomputers. The third main type of computer is the mainframe computer. It is bigger and more expensive than a mini computer. It has very high computing power and can process millions of instructions per second. The mainframe computer is capable of supporting 
hundreds of users at the same time. It is mostly used by governments and very large organizations for bulk data processing. The fourth main type of computer is the supercomputer. It is very fast and very expensive. It is the most powerful computer in the world. A supercomputer has thousands of processors and is therefore very large in size and works at an extremely high speed. It is used for weather forecasting, space exploration, and research in various fields. Now to evaluate what you have learned today, let us do a quick test. Number one, computers are classified into types according to their size and computing power. True or false? The answer is true. Computers are classified into types according to their size and computing power. Number two, a microcomputer is more expensive than a mini computer. True or false? The answer is false. A microcomputer is cheaper than a mini computer. Number three, a mainframe computer is a single user system. True or false? The answer is false. A mainframe computer can handle hundreds of users at the same time and is therefore a multi-user system. Number four, a supercomputer may be used for space research. True or false? The answer is true. Supercomputers are used for space research and exploration. Number five, rearrange the following types of computers, starting with the fastest one. Mini computers, supercomputers, microcomputers, and mainframe computers. The answer is first, supercomputers, second, mainframe computers, third, mini computers, and fourth, microcomputers. Dear students, this is the end of our quick test. I am sure that you found all the correct answers. It is now time for a recap of today's lesson. Computers are classified into four basic types. Microcomputers, mini computers, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. We use microcomputers in our everyday life. Microcomputers include desktop computers, laptop computers, smartphones, tablets, palm-top computers, and personal digital assistants. Mini computers are more powerful and more expensive than microcomputers. They are often used as servers in computer networks. Mainframe computers are more powerful and more expensive than mini computers. They are used by government bodies and very large organizations to process huge amounts of data.
Supercomputers are the most powerful and the most expensive computers in the world. They are used by scientists and engineers for research purposes in fields such as weather forecasting and space exploration. Dear students, we have reached the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye and see you again very soon. Bye.